now that Parque Fernando has been officially released on all platforms, at least it should have been by the time this video goes live, it's time for a bit of a beginner series guide here on the new map. So right now we're just getting in, we spawn right down here by the lake and we get a little mission to go to this lookout point and then an outpost right after that. So we'll do that quickly and then we'll get into what beginners can basically do uh, on this map. Now I've got a lot of stuff I want to talk about in regards to the new map and what you should do as a beginner, but first a rare mule deer. And if you don't have the map and you're someone that really likes the rare animals in the game, it certainly seems like there's more rares on this map. I imagine that's not going to last forever, but it currently is a thing. So that's about 170 out. The deer bleed collar does work. That is the one species on this map that if you're a complete new player to the game and have nothing... Uh, in terms of purchased equipment, the mule deer are the one species you can actually call in using that bleed color that is provided at level zero. So we'll try to get him in nice and close. I am only using the 243 for reasons I'll get into in just a bit, but he should come in somewhat close. The wind's not terrible here. We are, by the way, on top of a lookout point, which I can actually show how to do. You obviously climb the stairs, but... You can quite easily get up top here for a nice view and the unobstructed shot, uh, which you would have that railing in the way if you were down standing on the platform. He's coming in just nicely now. Small level three, but a rare is a rare. That's about 57 meters away. So we'll go ahead and go for that. I think you can tell he's a dilute from that dark gray patch on his forehead. And also, if he was albino, that would be a brighter white fur type overall, but I think he just went right down there in the lupins. All right, so the way I got up there, as if it isn't obvious, is just jump over onto this railing, which you got to be careful because if you're not, you jump down there, and that doesn't feel very good, and you just jump that way, and you're up on the roof. So you don't have that railing in your way uh, to deal with with the shots, but I got to grab this lookout point, and we'll go down and take a look at that guy. There he is. Unfortunately, we can't stop down these lupins, but we can always just do this. For a nice little screenshot, that was actually a level up and the dilute fur type, so not too bad. Actually, spine and even cut a lung on the way down, but we've got half the missions out of the way. We do got to go up to the outpost right here. That will get us started as a spawn point for future and also, there is a lot of stuff that I want to talk about in terms of what you should do as a beginner, because this map is unique, uh, for one, in that it has a trophy lodge. So, while all this stuff that I'm going to be talking about is going on in the background, there is essentially a shot placement guide going on. Uh, obviously, not me talking over it, but you can see where I am placing my shots in order to drop all the species on the map, other than cinnamon teal, because if you even hit them... Uh, they'll pretty much die. So this is specifically with the 243 and the reason for that is in case you just bought the game specifically to play this map, even with only the starting 243, you can still take down all the game on the map. The buffalo being the only ones that you don't get quick kill on is somewhere around 75% still uh, with a close range shot, which is not bad. So first things first, if you see any diamonds on this map, you do not want to shoot them until you've completed the story missions. Now, I've done a stream doing the entire story mission um, set. That took around two or maybe two and a half hours. It's not a very long thing to do. And of course, the reason for that is you cannot mount the diamonds in the trophy lodge unless you've done the missions first. It has to be done through the missions. You cannot get a diamond in multiplayer and mount it in your lodge. You do have to get it in single player and you have to do it through the mission system. So complete your story missions before you shoot any diamonds. If you don't know whether an animal is a diamond or not, we've got a spreadsheet in the Discord for that. You can check that out. Link to the Discord is in the description below. But the basic rundown is if you see a level nine red deer, water buffalo, or puma, a level five mule deer, axis deer, or black buck, or a level three cinnamon teal, you are at least fairly likely to be looking at a diamond and you shouldn't shoot that unless you've got your trophy lodge unlocked through the story missions. And yes, you did just see me shoot a level four diamond black buck. So number one, black buck can be diamond at level four a lot more consistently than any other species on the map. So I know I said five for black buck. If you see a really big level four, that could be a diamond as well. 
And you're also likely wondering why I just shot a diamond black block when I told you not to shoot any diamonds until you've got the trophy lodge unlocked through the story missions. The reason for that is I am not saving my progress with this account. I am going to do a video on how you can switch between accounts uh, or save files on PC. It's not possible on console that I'm aware of. But basically, I won't be saving any of the progress that I do here on Parquet Fernando because the entire beginner series is based around doing it without any DLCs. And of course, this map is a DLC. So I just wanted to get in here as a beginner account so that I don't have all of the bells and whistles of a level 60 and show you the things you can do as a beginner. But none of my progress is being saved. So when there's a diamond in front of me, I'll take my shot. And lastly, as we look at how to take down a water buffalo with the 243, if you're looking for a weapon that can do that a bit more efficiently, check out the beginning of this beginner series. I basically got to the 7 mil, I think by level 11. So you can do that too, just by kind of using the same methods that I did uh, in hunting, mainly Leighton Lake to do that. You could do that on this map. I just don't think it's going to be as easy with the species being somewhat skittish and the collars only really affecting the mule deer. So you can do what you want. You could use this map to do it. It would just take a bit longer, but the 7 mil does fantastic on water buffalo. Once you get that, you'll be fine for 100% quick kill. I think even the 270 would be okay, but the 7 mil is definitely a better choice. And finally, with all of that out of the way, we can do a bit of a hunt here as a beginner and see what it's like. So once again, I am only carrying the 243, but you can still actually hunt the map quite efficiently. So what I'm doing right now is just running. Really the best place to hunt is the lakes. I try to get to all those. I'm headed over to this one right now because it tends to be absolutely loaded with animals, mainly buffalo, but there should be some stuff we can get there, hopefully with the 243 as well. So... As I was saying, absolutely loaded at this lake with water buffalo. So if you've got the 7 mil already, I would probably be shooting away. These things do give pretty good cash. I think somewhere around 1,200 or so per kill. Now, I wouldn't just be shooting aimlessly because you can end up with some, like, intestine hit or maybe flesh wound hits that you got to track forever if you do intend to actually get them. But if you can get some decent shots off, absolutely go for it. So I'm going to look around at this lake a little more before I go shooting any of those because there might be some stuff that we can take down a bit more effectively with the 243. I actually even got a good, like, what, six more over here as well? There's a level seven. So yeah, in case you didn't look, far east side of the map, lake here in the north, right below Junto al Lago. Really, really good spot for the water buffalo. They are literally everywhere. Other than teal, there's not really very much here that we could actually shoot with the 243 and get quick kill, but there is that guy. He is a mythical, so not going to be a diamond. And we saw earlier that 75-ish percent quick kill with a spine shot super close range if we could land two spine shots, he should actually go down really quickly. I'm just going to try it for the sake of it. Again, he's not a diamond anyway, so I'm definitely willing to go for it. See if maybe we can actually get that follow-up. So this should be somewhat straightforward into his spine, I think. That might have actually worked. Put another one in him for good measure. Alright, might not have actually worked his... Uh, is now the diagnosis. He's going to die. Oh, hi. I'm going to die. There's blood everywhere from him. Okay. Not fair. This is uh, survival instincts at this point. I really need you to die. I can't do this forever. All that ammo I just bought. It's being wasted. This is, by the way, somewhat a decent way to dodge charging buffalo. I don't know how those initial shots didn't get into his spine, but clearly they did not. What? It looks like it should have. I think maybe I'm just off to the side. It's pretty narrow up there. And then just no penetration there, but how many times did we hit him? 
10 times. 330 trophy is very, very near diamond. 1151 weight, that's actually low weight for that high a trophy. That didn't work out as planned, but, you know, even when things go poorly, you can bring them down with a 243. You just need a lot of rounds. Anyway, that didn't go at all to plan, but before I say this, I do want to mention once again that I am not saving my progress. So, instead of doing what I would normally do, which is going around to all of the lookout points, getting them, and then going to the lodges where their locations will be unlocked once you get to those lookout points, I am just running around and hunting the lakes. So, as I said, the lakes are actually really good. There's animals at nearly all of them. They tend to be the best areas, plus the east coast down here seems to be absolutely littered with water buffalo so those are the main hotspots. seems like the east side is actually better but again i would actually be going around to the lookout points first get all those outposts just like fast travel points that way you don't have to run around to everything you do but if you do want to jump straight into the hunt and don't have to worry about that the lakes are where i'd be headed and down by the lake with an axis deer as long as he decides to cooperate I think that might actually be the last of our beginner series kills. Of course, he doesn't want to actually give us any kind of angle. And he's actually going to start drinking like that. So I'm going to alert him. You guys have probably seen me use that tactic before. But if you get the attention of an animal, they'll generally turn broadside for at least half a second. And give you an opportunity to shoot. You just got to make sure you don't do too much. Unfortunately, right now, I'm not even doing enough to get his attention. Should nearly be getting it for sure now. Come on. Jumping makes more noise. Of course, running around makes more noise. You are just fully entranced. There we go. He does know we're here, so he should turn at some point. At least, maybe. We might have the one axis deer that never turns. There we go. Finally, he did not want to cooperate, but hopefully I have at least given you some tools to hunt this map as a new player. So let me know if anything didn't make sense. I know it's difficult uh, when I'm like saying one thing and somewhat doing another uh, due to the fact that I'm not actually saving my progress. I was doing things slightly differently uh, than I would do otherwise, but please let me know. I can try to clarify anything in the comments if you've got questions. But a nice spine shot to end it off on a 753 silver axis deer. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.